This is the future. This is the future. Acon repairs again? What the? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And you are not gonna believe this, but we are back with the BMW's engine. And our problem is the compressor belt for the aircon keeps on falling off the tensioner. Now, last time when I found it, I realized that the tension might not might not be strong enough or high enough but the belt is a bit too loose and it seems to me that is the case so while I'm driving the belt um, vibrates off the tensioner but doesn't come off the pulleys but it's off the tensioner so it doesn't turn anything so today we're just going to take the belt off go buy a one that's a bit shorter and put it back on the compressor let's do that I'm becoming an expert in stripping this thing by now. Mm -hmm. So remember torque screw, take out that one. And a side, side cutter or pliers to take out that pin. Then the uh, scoop comes loose. Guys, remember to remove the water cap so that you can have space to move the scoop backwards so that you can get to the fan bolts in there. And there we go. With the three bolts loose, you can easily remove the fan from the scoop. And now you can take the scoop out. There you go. As you guys can see, the belt is off the tensioner. Oh, well, I just did that. Um, it's not running on top of the tensioner where it's supposed to run. It is behind the tensioner. So there is our problem. Why that? And it also looks like this tensioner keeps on moving. The tensioner is supposed to stay there in line. It seems like while you're driving it's going forward and then it falls out. Which tells me the belt is not tight enough. Um, the belt is too loose. It doesn't keep enough pressure on top of this tensioner to keep it in place. So I'm going to see if I can find uh, a fan belt that's just a little bit shorter than this one. And then we'll come and try it again. So as you guys can see, if you can see, <laughs> it's on now. The belt is going over the tensioner and around the pulleys. And although it looks like it's got enough tension, a belt is not supposed to turn like this. Any V-belt that has got the right tension should not be able to turn more than 90 degrees when under tension. And this is too much. If you have one of those nice fancy gauges that you can press down with, a belt is not supposed to move more than 5 millimeters, And this is almost 10 to 15 millimeters, So telling me that this belt is definitely not the right size. So we're going to see if we can find one that's just a bit shorter. Then we'll try it again. Hi guys. Okay, so we are back with the new belt. And it is as we have suspected, or as I have suspected, the belt was too long. The one we had there was a 4PK1000 and this is what it's supposed to have. Which means that other belt was a full 25 millimeters too long. Or 2.5 centimeters too long. So let's put up this new belt and see how that will work. There you go guys. Immediately you can see a difference. You see how far this one pulls down? pushes down uh, compared to what the compared to what the other one was pushing down this is what you want it's not supposed to go more than five millimeters down or half centimeter and you can see I can almost not turn it fully where the other one was turning so easily now now we can test it I have driven 50 k's now to the next town over and back the aircon on all the way and it's perfect. There's the belt. In the top right hand corner you can see the belt. It's still on the pulley. It's on the tensioner. 100%. So I think we we finally won the battle. There's the pulley. There's the belt. There's the belt in the background. I'm trying to focus it now. But it's on and in place. 
So yeah, job done. If you like this video, then hit the subscribe button to join the Cryptonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about. Then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast. On the Cryptzone live page, you should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the Cryptzone YouTube channel page, you can go and um, subscribe directly to the channel see what videos have already been posted and see what new projects I'm working on. Also you can go to contact and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support guys. Until next time, cheers.